Earlier we spoke to our correspondent Tony Chang in Kuala Lumpur and he said the leader of the three-party uh, opposition group, that's uh, Anwar Ibrahim, is now caught up in a self-inflicted predicament as he had promised he would step down if he didn't succeed. Uh, our correspondent uh, Tony Chang also noted that the three parties perform differently in the election and whether the opposition coalition can still exist now remains a big question. Anwar Ibrahim himself has actually stated that he's going to step down, he would step down if they didn't succeed this time and, and as they haven't it's going to be very hard for him to step back from that statement. Uh, nonetheless he was very much the galvanizing figure uh, of this three-party alliance, the Islamic party, uh, his own party, the People's Justice Party and the people, the, the party which is predominantly Chinese, the DAP. Uh, and the DAP actually performed very well. The Prime Minister himself in his victory address last night called this a Chinese tsunami and we saw big gains for the DAP uh, all across peninsular Malaysia uh, in areas they controlled before and in new areas too. I think the Chinese vote very much uh, crystallized in support for the DAP. The question is whether that opposition uh, coalition can still exist. PAS didn't do nearly as well, neither did the People's Justice Party and I think they need to look at where their support lies and how they further engage uh, with the Malay heartland, uh, they didn't bring what was needed to that opposition coalition and that was the majority of votes in the countryside and from the Malay people.